Okay, this is the uh, first video for JM793. Um, my purpose of this video is to walk you through um, what are the online course is going to look like for you now as a teacher. Um, many of you have taken uh, numerous courses from us before as students, so I'm going to, much of this will look uh, the same, but I'm going to walk you through and then show you how um, what pieces are different for an instructor um, and what pieces um, you'll need to look at when you are making the modifications here and developing your own course. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice here um, over on your, your left hand side is this um, administration block. Um, this is where you're going to have all of the administrative duties for the course. Um, as a student you will never see this block. Um, only the teachers here um, and administrators will see it. Um, the first item that I, I'm going to want you to to look at will be the settings button here in a second. Um, for what you're doing um, in this course, in the JM793 course, you're really not going to need to mess around with um, any of the the other links, the questions, the reports, import, restore, backup, things like that, groups. Um, those are sort of um, uh, program administrator things that um, uh, that you won't have to deal with in this course. You are going to need to get in though and change the settings course, so we're going to start there. So if you click that button that says settings, um, up will pop the list of all of your information for the course. So you're going to have what category it, in, um, it is in, don't change that. Uh, you'll have the full name of the course. I definitely want you to change that. Um, you'll have the short name, which I want you to change that. The, court, the short summary and description, you're going to want to get in and change this as well. Um, you'll see here I just threw in some dummy text for everyone. Um, in terms of the other variables um, below that, you can see the various items that you want to change. Um, I'd recommend that you actually leave those um, alone. Um, I think most of those are probably set up about where you guys will need them. Um, you may want to change, if you notice, here the number of weeks topics. We have that set at four for sort of three weeks and then a conclusion week. Um, you can change that if you find that you have more topics that you want to throw in. Um, you can go and make those changes. And again, just you make any change here, you scroll down to the very, very bottom and click save changes and then it will take you back to your course um, homepage um, with the changes that you've made uh, reflected in there. Um, so right now, if, if you look at your course, you'll have, um, again, the three sections and then a section four at the bottom. Right now, when you first come into the course, it's going to look very much like the student view in terms of not being able to, to edit any of these. Um, the big difference between the student view here and the instructor view is up here in the upper right corner where you see this button that says turn editing on or you can switch roles. Let's leave the switch role alone for the for the second but what I want you to do is I want you to turn editing on. Now before you do this I want you to look in the course for example look down here at this first item where it says um, course description um, which is something that you normally see in the course again the dummy text. As soon as I hit the turn editing on button here in the upper right corner. Now note that all of these little um, um, sections in here have icons. Um, you can move it to the right now, you can move it up or down, you can edit it, which we'll look at in a second. The red X is delete. The eyeball lets you go in and hide it from the students, so you can actually have something in there that students can't see but you can see. If the eyes open, you can see it. If it's um, closed, you can't. And the final one here is a sharing cart, and, and you won't uh, have to um, uh, edit, edit this at all. Um, to go in and edit one of these things, for example, let's say I want to edit my course description label here. All I do is come and click this little edit icon right there and up will pop um, a little WYSIWYG editor where you can come in and you can make changes to this. You can change for example all the font color, you can add images, add pictures, anything like that. When you're done you come down here and click save and return to course and any changes that you made to that are changed um, right here. Um, so you will see that those editing icons with editing turned on in your course, you will see those in every single item that you can edit. Um, those will be added. Um, also, what you now see is when you turn editing on, you'll have the option here in the lower right corner of blocks. You'll see this thing calls blocks and add. Blocks are these um, items both on the left and the right hand side with um, sort of the tan header here that um, provide us various information whether it's section links in the course up here or our calendar um, 
you know, online users, quick mail, things like that. With the editing on, you can not only move these blocks around if you wanted to move to the left side of the course, the right side of the course, but you can um, hit the red X if you want to get um, rid of them. You can also, um, for example, I want to get rid of the sharing cart block. So I click the red X. And now you will see you have th that block is no longer there. Uh, or you can come in and add a variety of other blocks. You probably don't need to mess around with the blocks, but I just wanted to show you um, a way to, to go and do it. Um, this is going to finish up our first video. Um, next, I'm going to walk you through how to change each of these um, in terms of labels, assignments, forums, quizzes, lessons, add video, um, things like that.